Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. Julie has the night off tonight. We begin tonight with a new description of a job designed to protect students in the classroom, school resource officers. Today I sat down with Carbondale Superintendent Daniel Booth and a member of the committee whose job it was to help redefine the duties of the high school resource officer. It's been a long talked about and controversial topic. I personally do not believe in, in SROs at all. The need of school resource officers. If there is a shooting at Carbondale Community High School and there isn't one, they'll probably end up being two. So Superintendent Daniel Booth and about 35 members of the community, law enforcement, administrators, teachers, and students met five times for at least two hours detailing the SRO's duties safety, education, and community relations. The last thing we really talked about in the conversation was what the position should not be at Carbondale Community High School. Uh, the results of that conversation, or, or all of those conversations, were that the purpose of the CCHS School Resource Officer is safety. Safety, education, and community relations. One member of that committee, Parent Chastity Mays. My personal position on the School Resource Officer is that it's not needed. Um, I think that what it does is it causes um, children of color to be disproportionately punished when there's an SRO um, involved. What would you say to those parents, um, you know, one who, who I interviewed, who are worried about the, um, the unfair targeting of or maybe unfair uh, discipline of minority students compared to white students? I don't think that's a school resource officer issue. Um, the school resource officer's job is to provide safety, education, and community relation. And if there's an issue with disciplining of students, I think that's a conversation that needs to happen on the school side, not the school resource officer side. In 2022 alone, school shootings in Minneapolis, Iowa, and Buffalo shook communities to their core. I understand safety issues and I understand school shooters. Of course, no one wants a school shooting to happen in their school, right? But um, my solution to that would be the SRO does not need to be, to be walking around the hallways um, in the school with actually they're armed. They have a gun, right? But Booth and members of the community, including Mays, came together describing duties to keep Carbondale's school resource officer. I walked by her office today and there were five kids in there. Um, talking to her, smiling, and building relationship. This is the community relation aspect of it. They were asking her questions. That's the education aspect of it. And she was in the hallways providing safety, um, having an eye on things that we may not be looking for. Um, and it's a big help. 